since, since I came to Germany on day before yesterday, I've been making too many noises for no reason. So probably I don't need to introduce myself. You already know my name by so now. So I'll just skip this one. Uh, uh, before I say anything about map tool, uh, there is a very interesting thing. Uh, I remember when, when I had an idea about map tool that I need to write this module, not for any big reason, just for my own sake of understanding. Just to give a big uh, background, uh, I did my study in Bachelor of Science and I did honors in mathematics. So I have absolutely no idea what computer science is all about. <laughs> so that's the, my background, I'm, I've been very honest. So when I had this idea in 2010 that I need to write map to, and I Google it, everybody will say, you need to understand artificial intelligence and all big terminology. I said, what are you talking about? I don't understand. I didn't learn all these things in my college. So my big channel was, before I even write a single line of code, go and learn. Where do I go? I, can't, I do my job 9 to 5. I can't go to university and learn artificial intelligence or learn the computer science. So the quick solution I found it is, okay, let's find out if anybody who has done this and put, put up the st case study online somewhere I can go and read through. And I was doing this Googling, I came across somebody's case study, a student from Australia. I still have his link where I found it. He wrote a case study how the different uh, algorithm work in artificial intelligence. Nicely written. A guy from India can understand. It's not too technical. So I found this link. I said, okay, I need to understand what he's writing about. And I've gone through line by line, line by line. And every time I come across a very typical term, which a non-technical guy like me, and I have to Google it and try to find out what that means. is. So I carry on the next paragraph. So I have to done the whole background study before I start writing this code. So when somebody sees the end product, they say, what's a big deal? Now, is it a big deal for me? Because I started from there. For somebody who had the background, probably would have started from there. For you, ah, oh, it's a piece of cake. Even now when I see my code, I say, anybody can do it. Mm -hmm. But then when I started it, I said, oh, what a nightmare. How I'm going to track when I'm moving from one station, one node to another, I need to keep a track from where I'm coming from. So I can give the user where the sh shortest route. Thinking from the layman, um, I did by background, so yeah, so, so all credit goes to that student from Australia for putting up that case study for me to study, study there. <coughs> okay, so as I say, this, this was first released in October 2010. And as of this morning, I did a release which is version 3.48, which was a bug fix to the version that I released yesterday which I added a, next, a new method to this model called get next session. And there's a nice story about this method. Last month I attended a London tech meet, that was the first tech meet in 2008. And I, I met a guy, first time ever, and he said, Muhammad, are you the same guy who do pull request? That's how people introduce me. <laughs> are you the same guy who do pull request? Without saying it. Yeah, is it a good thing or bad thing, first tell me. So, <laughs> that's how he introduced me. And I said, yes, I'm the same guy who did them pull request. <laughs> and I said, I came across your module called Map2, and we were thinking of using it in one of the uh, office uh, tasks, and <coughs> we found something missing in that module. I said, what, what is that you're missing? He said, we wanted to know from a particular station what are the possible links we can go to. At this point, before that, I had only one function, big function, say, starting in, the start and end, give me the shortest route, that's it. But he said, okay, that's fine, but I still want to know, I'll put, put my finger in one station, I'll say, where can I go? Where is the next stations? All the linked stations. That function is missing. It. So that was a release yesterday. So I did that function, but this morning, while I was preparing my talk, I said, no, something is wrong. I found a bug in it before anybody saw. So I said, I need to fix it. This morning, I woke up four in the morning, 
so I couldn't sleep. I made a release about 4.30 in the morning. 3.48, released this morning. So that should probably fix that problem. So that's a little bit of background, why I do that. As, as of today, there are about 36 maps. Again, every, everything about this code has a nice story. There's another story about this whole map. There's a guy called, his post ID is Skim, S-K-I-M. He's from Czech Republic. I never met this guy, but when I released the first module, somehow he came across this module. It's very hard for people to find my module. It's not that popular that everybody knows it. Somehow he came across, and what he did is, he started creating map before I created. So I had about two or three maps at that point. He already had 20 odd maps already created using this framework. And then I saw his, it's not just the map, he even created plugins and handy tools, handy packages, which can do something else. Take this map data and create something else. Create a table and so many other things. So I was very fascinated. I was very happy that somebody is taking so much interest in my model and creating so many more. Then I said, okay, now this is, now I got an idea. I need to make at least cover all the major cities in the whole world should have a map using this model. So I say, I'm still not there yet, but that's I'm gonna cover maybe next three, three four years. Last work, Pearl workshop, when I was giving a talk on this map too, he somehow got the idea that Muhammad is giving a talk on MapTube. That was the first time I introduced to my fellow hackers. He, he sent an email to me, Muhammad, I'm coming all the way from Czech Republic to London Pearl workshop to attend your lecture. I said, it's an honor for me, and it's my first time I'm ever going to see you face to face. And my scheduled talk was about 10, 40 in the morning. He, he knew about the whole schedule. But for some reason, the person who was supposed to give before me didn't turn up. And Zoyer was the handing the classroom. He said, Mohammed, do you mind giving before, uh, like uh, instead of this guy? I said, the first person came to my mind and said, I'm with this guy who's coming all the way from Czech Republic. He's going to miss this, my session because I'm not giving on my schedule time. I'm giving one session ahead. But anyway, I had to give my lecture. During the session, uh, I asked various questions. There was a guy sitting right in the corner. He answered all my questions. <laughs> because I've never met this guy, I didn't have the picture in my head. I only know by his posit. And at the end, I had a quick uh, quiz session. I said, who's gonna answer? I'm gonna give you a prize. So I had a small gift for, uh, and he keep answering. I said, forget it, I'm not, I'm not interested. Why are you asking me all the answer all the questions? At the end, when I finished my session, he came to say, Muhammad, I'm a scheme. Imagine, I mean, it's, it's, it's such, a, such a humbling experience for me. And I said, thank you for coming all the way from Czech Republic to attend my session. Here's a gift for you. I had a book, not Pearl book, very nice, interesting topic. Say, so here's a gift for you. Thank you for coming. And he, when he told me, I brought my son as well. So, his, his son, he maybe uh, to uh, visit uh, London. So, I was, so that was the story about this guy. And there's another guy, he's a German. His pause ID is GWS. Gilbert W. Selke is his name. He's a scientist. Gisbert? You know? Gisbert GWS. You know? He's a scientist. I never met him. He also came across my model and he said, Muhammad, I like your model, but there's something missing in your model. I said, fine, tell me. It doesn't have the fuzzy search feature. I said, very interesting. And because he knows all these uh, Unicode characters and all those words, which I'm still not comfortable. I only understand English. So he said, um, do you mind if I write a plugin for your model? I said, I'm more than happy, please do. So he wrote a module called MapTube Plugin Fuzzy Search. But I, as I understood, he was, he, he, he's not very, like too much into Perl. He was into some other thing, but he knew Perl. So we had a long email conversation with this guy and back and forward, back and forward. After one month of hard work of both of us, we released this module called Plugin Fuzzy Search. 
So that's another thing. So the two people especially, JWS and the scheme, I'm very, very happy and I'm very honored that they contributed to my in this work. These are the people at the moment have contributed by creating a map or by sending a patchwork. <laughs> if you know this guy, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. He's the first guy when I pushed my changes, first few releases, he said, Muhammad, I see the last release, before that it was fine, but the last release you, you pushed it, it slowed down the performance. What have you done? I didn't know somebody's keeping track of my performance of my module. <laughs> I said, why? It was like this and it's gone down like this. What have you done? Oh my God. Some, and then I knew this guy. So I know what this is talking about. So I have to make sure. So I said, what have you changed? I went back to my GitHub and started looking for the, the difference. What, what changed in the last week? Then I came out, oh, I tried to be very smart and try to be more object oriented and try to introduce various other overhead. I said, it's all bullshit. I undo all yeah. the thing. And then nicely packed it up, released it, sent an email to him personally. Can you check it now? Now it's all good. Thank you very much. Now it's gone. So, so he helped me to improve the uh, speed, or at least maintain the speed that's usable for end user. So very thankful for as very Rezik. This guy, Soren Lund, I think it, when I met a guy Sorin. When I saw his name, Sorin, I thought he's the same guy. No. Then, I, then I saw his name. They, they said, he's not the same guy. I said, how come? If he's there, I'm going to meet another guy who's, who's done the work for me. He's probably at the uh, FCR. Yeah, absolutely so. Okay. So, okay. Let, uh, so, my original plan was to create a new map while I'm giving a talk. And I prepared a template for Madrid Metro. But this morning, Julian su suggested a nice uh, uh, suggestion was, why didn't you do colon map? I said, oh my, it's too late. And that was in the first talk when I was standing there. I said, if I had the idea last night, I would have done all night. I could have done that mm, colon. But, but never mind, maybe next time I'll do the colon as well. So, so before you do anything, it's basically you just need this model and this model at least. This, this, model, this, this plugin is, again, I got an idea from the guy scheme. He wrote the plugin before me, but his plugin was doing the, the, the map generated using his plugin wasn't looking nice. So I said, okay, there's a scope, I can improve it. So I spoke to him. If he doesn't mind me, go go and create a new plugin, and I use this namespace, it's a fine. So we still have two plugins, one by Skim and one for me. So you can see the difference of the graph created by both the plugins. So, can I? And the other two plugins, this is the one I was talking about, done by GWS, map to plugin, fuzz in fine. And there's another plugin that I wrote is Formator. So sometimes if, if the result is used by an application which you do, which want data in a different format, so you can have CSV, JSON, YAML, whatever format, the result is, can be converted into whichever format you want. So that can be done as well. So as I said, I'm gonna create a Madrid Metro. The first thing, uh, whenever I, I get an idea that I wanna create a metro a map, first thing I say, Let's Google it, see if there is a map already or not, just to get an idea because I don't have any data at all. The first day source is go to Wikipedia, find the data. Sometimes Wikipedia is not up to date. When I go to Wikimedia, Wikipedia says something else, but if I look at the actual map, the official map, it says something else. So then I stopped relying on Wikipedia. I said, okay, go and find out the official map, and then you, I can see that the only information I'm, uh, data you know, I'm interested in is the link. Where to start? way to end, and what are the station in between, and what are the different lines and different colors for each line, is all I needed. Because it's a manual work, as Julian rightly pointed out, it's a lot of manual work. So I don't release all the lines in one go. I just create, in my initial release, I'll have only two lines, so I can prove my, uh, I can test my logic. If I'm going from one line to another line, see the link works or not. 
So in my first reel, I'll have at least two lines to test the logic. And as, as I grow, I add more lines and finish it up. So for, for the purpose of this demo, I already have a map with two lines. I pick this lines which have listed number of stations, so I don't have to type much. So I pick line number three and line number five of Madrid Metro. So I'm going <clears> to... <throat> so that's what I did. Again, the data for the map you can have in JSON format or you can have in an XML format. I started with an XML format. And when somebody told me, why don't you support JSON? I said, well, good idea. So I changed the framework so it supports now JSON as well. And at the same time, I wrote a tool as well where if anybody had an XML and they want to convert to JSON, use my tool, it will pass and convert into JSON. So you don't need to do any kind of like a monkey patching. The skeleton, it's, it's, it's no big deal. This is, this is all you need for your map. Name of your map, map, optional, you don't have to have. Lines and stations. And within this line, you can mention all the lines one by one. I'll show you how the structure of line. <coughs> This is how you define your lines. So again, you need to have an ID and name. That's it. Optionally, you can have color. If you have a color, when you create a graph or map, you'll have a nice colored graph. You can see the nodes in the color. And if the station is in a particular line and line has a yellow color, the node will appear in yellow. So you know which station belongs to which line. So nicely, if you have a color, so you don't have to. Again, color, you can give a normal English word, or you can give a hash code as well, color code. <coughs> About the stations. Again, name, ID. The line and link is a little bit tricky. So let me explain to you how, it, how that is work. The first part is the, is the line ID, where this station is located. So what I'm saying is, this, I don't know how to pronounce, Viva Vila Verde Auto Station Vila is the first station on line three. Yeah. That, that's what I say. So that's what I'm saying. L3 is the line ID, colon is the, C, is the position of the station on that line. Because that station can be the fourth or fifth station for some other line. Mm -hmm. Some other line might be. So I'm saying this station is the first uh, station on line L3. That's how you. The first left or right? This is. No, it doesn't matter whichever way. So the, the whole again, there is a another uh, story behind this. Why I added it? It wasn't there before. There, one of my friend who works for a big uh, state agent in London, who do all this uh, uh, services for buying and letting properties. My one of my friend working for that big name, and. He said, we were looking for something to fetch the number to stations according to the sequence it appears on the line. Your model doesn't support that. Can you add this for features to, to your map, map tube? Because they were using my map tube London module to do the station thingy. I said, it's nice to do, but we don't have information. That data is not in there, in the source. So I said, okay, I need to modify the source data to provide that uh, indexing. So, so I came up with this idea, I said, okay, I'm gonna say line ID colon and the index number, how I decide which way, from bottom or from left side or right side, it depends. But it doesn't matter which way, how you define. When you say, okay, here's the line number, L3, give me all the stations, it doesn't matter which way. It'll give you in the sorted order. So it's up to you how you read it. You want to read from the bottom or you want to read from top. It doesn't matter which way you read it. So you can, you can easily, alter the order whichever way you want to. It'll just give you any sequence. You could have something like northbound or southbound. Or westbound or eastbound. Or the circle line. <laughs> to make my life easy, I, I just don't care whether it's a northbound or southbound. What I care is where I can connect this station to. Can I go there? Can I come there? Can I come back from there? 
Yeah, but <laughs> Julie made a very good point. In, um, in Moscow are circular lines. London has a circular line as well. If I, I would, I would suggest, I would suggest you look into my map to London package, mm -hmm. and just have a look and see how I'm dealing with circular line. Mm -hmm. And pick it, and pick it, and there are various other. Yeah, they, 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 it, it goes di do different. <laughs> yeah. Every time I make any changes to my framework, I say the best place to test my functionality is check against MapTube London. If that is possible, every other map is going to work. Don't worry. That's the most complicated map ever I've written. But then there's another map I wrote, which is Tokyo. That's another nightmare. <laughs> Honestly speaking, I have not finished it. I only did two lines, and I stay enough of it. <laughs> and it's still pending for three years. I didn't get a chance to do any more lines. It's so con First thing is the, 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 the numbers system is so confusing. Two stations has the same name and same ID. <laughs> How am I supposed to interpret this in this way? My, my data is not going to support it. Real ID. <laughs> Real ID. Same two, one spot, they give it to two different names. Same ID. How am I going to support this? Maybe. I, I don't know, because I don't know the, uh, how the whole thing, I, I just have the map here in front of me. I try to understand. There's no other way I can feel. I said, no, I probably need a J Japanese guy to help me out with this. Uh, now I know you, probably I'm going to send you <laughs> request. Crown and employ Right no. I've become a butt of joke. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's the line bit, and the link is 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 is, is also is, is simple. Is what it's saying is where this station is linked to. So one, and this, in this case, you're saying I'm, this station is linked to the second station on L3. So this is the ID of the next station on this line L3. So if this particular station is linked to three stations, you say comma, 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 comma. So you give the ID of the first station, comma, second station, third station, fourth station. So, so one particular node can be linked to 10 different stations. So you just see comma separated, a station ID. And that's how you keep on ID. But can you have a station linked to another station with another line? Yes, you can. So you can, yes, suppose this station is linked to a station on a different line, say L5, L5, uh, 05, mm -hmm. fifth station on line 5. So you can say L3-02, comma L5-05. So saying this station is going to different line, fifth station. From here. But, but uh, you declare one station once, and mm -hmm. you tell the system into what line they, uh, they can belong? Yeah, belong. But you also tell. It belongs to this line, but you can go to different lines and different station on different station on different lines. Mm -hmm. And then from there, you can say, okay, I'm coming back to the same line. So you can come back to the same line and same station. It's up to you how you define your data. There's one more thing which I didn't mention is here is, is a special case for London. But I've come across uh, some one of the map from a scheme where he had similar problem and probably it will affect some other, uh, other map as well. Sometimes in your map, two stations are not actually linked by the station, uh, train line. Yeah. You actually go by the tunnel. For example, in London, there's a station called Bank and Monument. What you do is you take a tunnel from Bank and you reach the Monument station. So I said, how am I going to it represent that information in my this data structure. And because scheme also wanted this feature to have a support. So not just tunnel, it could be anything, footbridge. I'm f using my foot over bridge, going across to the next station. So how am I going to say it? What line I should say? What line ID? What index ID? So it's not going to work. So I said, OK, how am I going to say it? So I added another attribute in this uh, station saying other underscore link. And Similarly, and in that case, because there's no line information, you are free to use whatever uh, ID you want to use. So, for example, in my London, I use tunnel. So, tunnel is my line name, and there's no in, uh, index. 
for those tunnels. So it's a proof. However, when you say, give me all the station on this line, I ignore all the other links. I say, okay, I'm not giving you anything. I only give you which is actually linked by these lines. So I, I do a little bit logically check. Because in my final wrap up, you have everything. Because I need those information when I'm doing the shortcut route. Okay, so this is what you need to create your uh, Madrid Metro. How many lines? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines. And your Metro, Madrid Metro is ready, up and ready. So I'm sure one of the author of one of the model is sitting in this classroom. File share. Who wrote it? Somebody, I, I remember. I was talking about it yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's very handy. I remember, yes, it's, before that I was using uh, this just uh, relative path saying in my distribution, my source file for map data is under this. Somebody wrote, sent me an email, Mohammed, doesn't work in all the cases. When you install it, it doesn't go along with the, your distribution thing. So your relative path is not going to work. So he's even, uh, maybe it's slab and raising because he sent the detail uh, 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 analysis. So he probably him. I don't remember exactly who sent me. He sent me the details. Say, this is how you should be using it. Use file share, and then, and in your distribution, when you package your distribution, you mention where your your data should go when you somebody install it, and that's how it's, it's done. And it's very nicely, and I, I have not, no trouble so far. Here is the magic. No, I said, okay, I purposely pick the same station on the one particular line. I'm not jumping lines. So these two stations belongs is, is on the same lines. I say, I want to go from Seoul to Delhi Shias. <coughs> Give me the road. And you get the road. No big deal. I remember when I gave this talk uh, last, last year, London Park Workshop, and after the survey, when I got the review back from Barbie, one of the person who was uh, in my audience saying, everything was fine, but I would have liked if you had given more detail about the plugin graphic, how the map thing works. I said, I like your idea, but the trouble was I had a very limited time. If I start talking about how I'm creating the map, just the map, uh, the image, It'll take the whole time. So I said, I like your idea, and probably going to use in one of my talks just about how I create the, ma uh, the image mapping thing. And so again, I said, it's not possible for me to do this together. So maybe once I've covered this, I can just talk about my one plugin, how I create my image. So it's, again, what I do is just create a map or um, two objects, find out the name. And then you say, give me an image. And that's, you just encode, decode it in a base64, and you have an image. Sometimes you say, oh, I don't want the entire map. I just want one particular line. Just give me line one or line three. So you can even do that. How you do that? Same as say, OK, find out the line object and say, if you, if you want the entire map, just ignore this. Don't pass any line information. If you want a particular line image, you pass the line object. That's it. And it'll give you just the line image for the line. And there's another uh, utility that I've created. It's called MapTube. What it does is it lets you play with the uh, uh, MapTube, uh, sh finding sort shortage route. So you can use, OK, I don't know whether I have. This is the package, it's called MapTube CLI. Once you install it, it gives you the command line utility called MapTube. And you can say, command line, this is in indexing. Our from station is this, to a station is this, and the map is this. Thank you. And it'll give you the result in an whichever format. And using this CLI, I can even generate images as well. So I say, map is London, 
give me all the map, uh, image of the map. I can create, I can give a line, line image as well. So I use this utility to create the map. Again, as I talked about this data converter. So convert, you can convert the source data from XML to JSON or JSON to XML. I wrote this model, map to QGO, because I remember uh, after releasing this release, uh, after one year, somebody found a bug in my MapTube code. And when I tried to debug it, I find it very hard to follow my own code. Okay. Then I started looking for that guy's papers that I wrote, uh, that I uh, was reading through to understand. Once I understood, say, I say I'm going to document it, how everything works. So in future, if anything goes wrong, I can refer to my own documentation to understand where it's gone wrong. You have to document it for developers. Yeah. <laughs> when you look at it, it's, yeah. it starts to be foreign code because it's so long ago, you don't remember. Yeah, that's, so I, that's how, how I did it. And yeah, for other information, you can find this. You can ask any question while I try to push the code C pen. Oh, there you go. Here's the one. So this will remain forever, this line. I want it especially so in case in future I can tell my granddaughter or grandson, look, your grandfather gave a lecture on this date and released this model. Forever. Yeah. So if I, if I go to the first. So on holiday, she will go to so Gumas Park I, to see the place where, yeah. where you're living. <laughs> Gumas Park. Gumas Park. Gumas Park. Yeah. So as I said, at this point, got line L3 and L5. And these are the for my to-do list. Here's the two lines as I've got so far. You say, I would, I would love to have a help on this color coding. It's a nightmare. I, I've still not got it wrong, uh, correct. So, it, because sometimes, because the line color of this line is green. But I, I got a, I found a, some, somewhere on the internet a function, somebody written a function, say, it can give you a contrast color. So if you have a green on the front, it goes and do some mathematical calculation and give you the color, what color should go behind. See, to, to make it appear. I use that logic, I'm still not getting it right. So it looks, it, it can't read, it's not readable for me. But at least you can see that two different colors and they're seeing exactly. So, so this is the whole map. As, as of today, it's just two lines. So if I go to individual line, for example, L3. Tell you the textual version and this just line three. So for your case, I don't understand whether it's a left or right. So you see, starting from that station, and what they're saying is from here, there are two more stations, you can go further. But because not part of this line, it says dotted dotted line. So similarly, if I go to the other one, L5. Ah. <laughs> ah, nightmare. I would love to have the nicely background, nice background so I can show it nicely. But that's it, it's horrible. Ah, I don't want to make you blind. <laughs> so, so this is going to be my prize for coming here and releasing on the day. Luckily, I had an internet. I was just wondering if, if I can get internet access. Because in the last uh, talk when I was giving it in London Public Talk, I gave this channel to the, my audience saying, I want one of you to create a new map by end of today's talk. And one of the girls was, her pause ID is Adiator. She built a map. And I was so happy because at least one person did it. And when the later on, two more person added new map. And one of the guy was from Germany. This, uh, I think it's uh, Soren Lund. So, it's not Germany? No, it's from <coughs> Okay, so, 
So he, he wrote the uh, new model, so I said, I'm happy, because he attended the session and wrote a model, which I'm happy. So I'm, maybe one day I'll cover more maps. So that's it. Thank you.